What's going on guys, Tristan24 here and welcome back to another video. In today's video I have my Premier League predictions for match week 33. Now we're coming down to the business end of the pre um, Premier League now and not too much to play for but there is if you get what I mean. Relegation, Europa, uh, European football to be won. So still a lot to be played so let me get on to my predictions but before we do that let's see how we did last week so Aston Villa Wolves I said 3-1 Wolves ended up being only 1-0 Wolves um, Villa good performances I just can't find the net at the moment Watford Southampton I said 1-1 draw Southampton obviously won 3 goals to 1 uh, great performance by them again next Crystal Palace against Burnley. I said 2-1 Palace ended in a 1-0 win to Burnley. They're doing well at the moment, to be honest. Brighton against Man United. I said 4-0 Man United. Ended up 3-0. But can I just say something? Bruno Fernandes, his third goal was well worked, to be honest. Great finish. Bournemouth against Newcastle. I predicted 2-1 Bournemouth. Um, but it was actually 4-1 Newcastle, but of course Bournemouth got their first goal back, uh, so that could be a bit of a confidence boost. It's going to be really hard to see if they stay up or not. Arsenal played Norwich, I said 3-0 Arsenal, it was 4-0 Arsenal. <sighs> How close can I get? But it really does look now that Norwich are down and out, um, to be honest. Teams they have left to play. For me, they're just not winnable. Everton played Leicester. I said 3-1 Leicester. I was wrong. The Toffees proved me wrong. It was 2-1. Well done to Everton. West Ham against Chelsea. Arguably one of the best games this week. Um, you know, harsh done by on West Ham. It should have been 4-2, I believe as that goal was offside but really harsh on Antonio but they did actually win 3-2 against Chelsea North London derby of course um, but I predicted Chelsea to win 3-1 wasn't right let's move on Sheffield United Spurs I predicted 2-1 Spurs actually ended 3-1 Sheffield United Ollie McBurney a great game for him former Swansea player um, but yeah um, not much else to say really Sheffield United are finding themselves again and you never know European football could be back on track for Sheffield and the final game game of the week by no doubt Man City Liverpool now Liverpool they've just been crowned champions a Man City had a point to prove in this one. It ended 4-0. Could have been 5, but VAR checked it. And it was offside or something in the build-up. But Liverpool, you know, they just weren't up for the game, were they? They seemed to be up for it, and then the occasion got to them. And how interesting would it have been if Chelsea actually lost to Man City? Drama, but they didn't, and it ended in a Man City win. 4-0. Let's move on to my predictions for next week. Norwich Brighton, this is a game if Norwich want to stay up, they have to, have to, have to win. As for Brighton, they, I believe they're going to win it. I'm going to just say 2-1 Brighton, sorry Norwich. Leicester, Crystal Palace, I'm going to say this one's a 1-1 one -one draw. Leicester, they're not really doing well at the moment, are they? As for Crystal Palace, nor are they, but I believe they can get a draw at this one. Man United against Bournemouth, for this one I see 3-0 Man United, I can't see Bournemouth winning this one to be honest uh, Wolves against Arsenal, this is going to be a tight game for European football and if Wolves can win it I do believe they will go on to get European football but Arsenal, I just have a feeling they'll win 2-1 Next up we see Chelsea take on Watford 
Uh, I'm going to say 2-1 to Chelsea. I think they'll bounce back over that defeat to West Ham, which was really unfortunate, but, you know, it's the way football is at the moment. Next game, we had Burnley take on Sheffield United. I'm going to back Sheffield to win again. 2-1, I'm saying Burnley, they're decent, but can't see them breaking down this um, Sheffield United team. Spurs can't do it. Very unlikely many other teams can do it. Uh, Newcastle against West Ham. Uh, I'm going to say 3-1 West Ham. Newcastle, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Um, I think Newcastle, they're too good for Bournemouth. And the teams around them, I see a win for Newcastle. West Ham, though, I do have a feeling they might survive, you know. Next game is mm, Liverpool against Aston Villa. I can see this one. Jurgen Klopp's going to get the boys back on track. I think 3-0 Liverpool against Aston Villa. Southampton Man City, this one. I can only see goals, goals, goals for City. And not for Southampton. I'm sorry Southampton, but I'm taking 6-0 City. I know it's crazy, but the way City are playing, it's... Even the champions can't break them down. And that's something. Spurs, Everton is the final game of the weekend. And I actually think Everton are going to win 2-1. They beat Leicester. I think they're going to beat uh, Spurs again as well. And Spurs are just... I don't know what's going on with them this season. But there we are. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Like if you do. Subscribe if you're new. Ne the uh, prediction recap will be next. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one guys. Good luck to your side this weekend.